teacher skills for resume welcome to my youtube channel make sure you like share and subscribe the first skill we have classroom management you can explain this in your resume or your cv you can explain that you have implemented classroom management techniques developed and implemented classroom management strategies that have supported teachers co-teachers and para-educators through a pro professional development training you can also explain that you have executed classroom ma management by spending unlimited time giving instructions to students facilitating creativity and keeping students motivated so that is all about uh, classroom management that is definitely how you have participated in beha behavioral management instructional support academic support and also any other type of support in the school then you can also talk about how you have mentored your students you have mentored other prof uh, like colleagues or professors and communicated with them the next skill we have curriculum development where you have provided academic instructions to ecom to emotionally and behaviorally behaviorally challenged uh, students and you also participated in curriculum development um curriculum development is important for any uh, other students that might might not be in the same standard as all your students you can talk about how you have overseen tests you have developed lesson plans given supplementary materials in terms of preparing for exams and also you have collaborated with schools and other partners and teachers in in terms of coming up with a curriculum that is balanced you can also talk about how you have planned organized and overseen implementation of curriculum the next skill we can talk about communication skills uh, a teacher should have dynamic communication skills so that they can stand out uh, be sure that you are informing your employer that you're able to communicate uh, and you, ha you are technically savvy to be able to communicate in different uh, standards in terms of giving assignments using media formats formats being able to stand before the classroom and explaining yourself clearly include your ability to communicate clearly and professionally articulately as well as your ability to be able to empathetically listen to your students the next skill we have computer skill any resume that does not highlight this uh, computer skill uh, then definitely it is going to be overlooked in this uh, technically savvy era a computer skill is very much important uh, in this type of um, environment uh, teachers can interact with students online they can interact with students one on one they might need to be sent um, documents on email uh, they can be sent projects they might need to understand graphic presentations so it is important for you to have for a teacher to have a uh, good uh, computer skills and then if you're able to use a projector for example online classrooms as a teacher you might be you must be able to or a, uh, a lecturer you must be able to have a uh, uh, technically savvy computer skills in in terms of using projects online classrooms like zooms uh, sorry zoom in uh, google um, google and uh, also projectors in terms of presenting your information to your students uh, as you can see the teacher is trying to multitask between a zoom meeting and an, a smart board then creativity is another skill that a teacher might, uh, should have uh, you have to develop a unique way in which you can communicate with your students each student uh, some are slow some are fast some have different behaviors so creativity is very important in understanding your students and being able to come up with good lesson plans which will balance all between your students also if you can be able to segregate your students it's still okay um, uh, as a teacher who uses a uh, peer learning strategy you should be able to uh, understand your students understand their exposures understand their backgrounds and come up with that uh, a balanced way of just uh, 
being able to communicate with different type of students according to some are fast learners some are slow learners some are exposed some are not expressed so creativity is very important in being able to help your students understand what you're, you're teaching them about uh this can also come you can come up with examples that can be able to relate with what you're teaching about so creativity uh comes a long way you can also uh do like if like you, you can see the teacher is trying to do say, the same thing as the, uh, as the students so that they can be able to give them clear instructions on what they want them to do in that particular lesson we can talk about uh, goal setting a teacher should be able to have goals in terms of their own goals and also their students where what they want to achieve in that year and what they also want the students to achieve so your resume should outline uh, outline how the goals that you have been you have set and also what you have accomplished how have you overcome any distractions in your goal settings so you can talk about uh, i was able to my goal was to make uh, make sure that students uh, score this part, uh, uh, marks and they are able to achieve that mark then we have leadership so, uh, being a teacher you'll be able to, you always lead within students if you are de if you are delegating any types of work you should be able to show in your resume that you are able to negotiate with students give them different roles to undertake and they can be able to listen to you leadership is important in coaching school improvement plans uh, uh, in the as the as the school grows then lesson planning or you can talk about how, where will you be standing in a classroom are the students going to work in groups or they will be working independently this is important because um this can help you to plan even for your time and how you are going to communicate with your students and then you can also talk about in the lesson planning what will be the pace will you be it will, is it a repeat lesson so that it is just a first lesson or are you going to segregate your students lesson planning is important uh, even to execute uh, to know the type of execution in terms of presentation then mathematical skills uh, how do you organize your student data in terms of maybe the results mathematical skills i'm just talking about mathematical skills whether you are a, an english teacher a geography teacher it doesn't matter how do you interpret data when you're given um to can you arrange uh, uh, students marks from the top to the bottom are you able to understand uh when uh, percentages things like percentages can you be able to calculate basic things like percentages even when you're marking exams so mathematical skills are very important then we can talk about multitasking uh are you able to facilitate the classroom roles uh, there are very many roles in the classroom you can be marking you can be teaching you can be listening so multitasking is a very important uh in a single class you'll have different tasks to do he, the in a chemistry lesson you might be doing uh, some might be doing titration some might be doing different things in a classroom so can you be able to multitask between different uh, students and uh, uh, balancing the information be sure your employer understands that you understand the complexities in any classroom and you can give examples so you have you have been able to uh, uh, adapt and handle every challenging uh issues in a classroom you you need to uh, like you need to show your uh, social emotional balance within a classroom so that is social emotional intelligence you should demonstrate that you are aware of your own feelings you are aware of your strengths you are aware of your weaknesses and that means you can be able to balance those strengths and handle all the students in the classroom according to their weaknesses and their strengths then we have resilience teachers should be resilient because there are very many challenges they undergo all, all day long all day long sorry and that means they should be resilient in order to uh, do their day to day jobs punctuality teachers should be punctual when coming to class and in any activity that they may go, might be going um 
they might be doing in their classroom so that also students can emulate, emulate on the same. Then you have problem solving. You should be able to solve any problems because you're dealing with students from different backgrounds. Then you have patience. You should be patient enough to listen to your students uh, because they have different capabilities. Thank you so much for